Being the pioneer and a leading institution to establish a niche in microelectronics integrated circuit design in southern Philippines, MSU IIT's Microelectronics Laboratory is leveling up its endeavor by engaging a system on chip integrated circuit design development. Over the years, it has been promoting innovation and awareness in microelectronics IC design in Mindanao by offering courses and trainings that will enhance and provide advanced skills to aspiring IC design and layout engineers in the region. As a result, the Microelectronics Laboratory has been producing more highly skilled engineering graduates to answer to the increasing demand for professionals with strong background and skill set in IC design. The Microelectronics Laboratory has accepted the challenge of the ever-growing demand in IoT devices. It has dedicated its pool of talents and resources to develop its first contribution to the demand. The Inlight Chip An energy harvesting chip that aims to extend the battery life of existing IoT devices. It is capable of extracting indoor light energy to recharge a nickel metal hydride battery used for wireless sensor networks applications. This two-year endeavor is supported and funded by USAID Stride, a program that has the goal to stimulate inclusive economic growth by boosting science and technology research. Building upon the success of the inlet chip, the Microelectronics Laboratory took a major leap towards designing a system on chip solution for wireless sensor network applications, which is made possible with its funding agency, the DOST Pishir, the mandated Philippine Council in the Implementation of Strategies in the Industry, Energy, and Emerging Technology, Research, and Development sectors. With three and a half years of implementation, the project started a modular approach in designing the system on a chip, which is composed of an energy harvesting unit, a power management unit, and a microcontroller. The modular approach lessens the complexity of the design and ensures an optimized and functional circuit performance. The final year develops a versatile system on chip design. The MCU, PMU, and EHU are combined onto a single integrated circuit chip, thus giving birth to the final product of the project, the IIT UC 8K1612 IC chip. The IIT UC 8K1612 chip will be utilized to develop a customized wireless sensor node, which is an IoT device used to monitor environmental conditions such as temperature, humidity, pressure, and light. The wireless sensor node is composed of three fully customized circuit boards. The top board houses the PV cell for the light energy harvester and the sensors used based on the desired application. The middle board includes the RF module, which is essential for wireless communication purposes. Lastly, the base is the main board which highlights the IIT UC 8K1612 chip along with the necessary external components. Located inside the chip are the three main circuit blocks, the microcontroller unit, the energy harvester unit, and the power management unit. The overall system works starting with the energy harvester unit. The energy extracted from the PV cell passes through the energy harvester unit to produce a suitable voltage used for charging the power source, which is the Varta V450HR Nickel Metal Hydride Rechargeable Battery. With the help of the EHU, longer battery life and extended device operation are made possible. Subsequently, the battery is used by the power management unit to generate usable voltage rails of different values through the boost and back boost converters. The boost converter supplies 2.5 volts to the sensors and the transceivers, whereas the back boost converter provides 1.2 volts to the MCU. Lastly, playing the biggest role is the microcontroller unit, which serves as the brain of the WSN. The microcontroller equipped with its peripherals, UART, SPI, and I2C, is used to interface with different sensors and establish communication with different nodes. 
the MCU can be programmed to fit the needs of the users in terms of, for example, how frequently the sensors can collect data and what type of sensors is needed based on the desired application. Also, the microcontroller can be used as a general-purpose microcontroller that can be utilized by students, teachers, and hobbyists in any application. In the conventional technology, an IC consumes power whether it is or is not in data transmission operation. With the technology used in this project, the IITUC 8K1612 only transmits a continuous wave at a short period which is during data transmission. Now let's go back and take a closer look at how the WSN works. The WSN consists of three ultra-low power sensors such as pressure sensor, humidity with temperature sensor, and the ambient light sensor. The IITUC 8K1612 chip is pre-programmed to read the data from the sensors. A stackable header is used for access to the sensors and the transceiver boards. The transceiver board is equipped with the analog device's ADF7024 transceiver IC with a 433 MHz chip antenna. It allows wireless transmission of sensor data to a gateway. The Raspberry Pi acts as the gateway and is interfaced with another transceiver board to allow wireless reception of data from any node. As the WSN powers up, it automatically reads data from the sensors and transmits the data to the gateway. Once data from any sensor node is received, the gateway is configured to transmit the data to an HTTP server. Multiple nodes can be networked together and placed in various locations of a building to monitor the surrounding environment. This allows data to be displayed in the mobile app. It shows the information in each of the sensor nodes, such as the sensor node's ID, location, battery level, as well as the readings of the available sensors. Here, we can see the temperature, humidity, pressure, and ambient light readings. To scan through the other sensor nodes available, we click on the arrow buttons. Information such as the RSSI, the timestamp of the recent data, and the status of the node, whether active or inactive, is also displayed. Clicking on a sensor reading shows a graph of the historical data of that sensor, along with the timestamp of the data points. If you long press on the graph, an option to clear the data will show. The number of samples that the graph can show can be configured in the settings menu. The refresh rate, which is the interval at which the app will query the server for new data, can also be configured here. The user can also set minimum and maximum threshold values of the sensor readings. Clicking on the Set Limits values will show a dialog box where the user can input these limits. Once the sensor readings reach the limits, the app can notify the user. Enabling the toggle switch will enable the notification feature when the limits are reached. The value of the sensor reading and the graph will turn red when the maximum limit is reached. It will turn blue if the minimum limit is reached. Even if the app is running in the background, the app will notify the user when the battery of the sensor node is low or when the limits are breached. The mobile app shows seamless remote monitoring of data from the deployed sensor node at any time and anywhere in the world through the internet connectivity. Sensor networks can also be used in applications like smart buildings, smart agriculture, smart homes, healthcare, structural monitoring, transportation systems, and many others. Indeed, WSN has a continuously growing range of applications that help improve human lives up to the present day.